<clears throat> Alright, so I might have to cough a little bit in this. I think I'm getting sick of goddamn. Voice is fucking. Alright, so I uploaded a video and didn't realize how loud these fucking. <laughs> these Red Bull cars are. They're so loud, you can barely hear my voice. On the other cars, I feel like my voice is too loud. So, I don't know. I don't know what to say. So, Nations Cup. Um, I tried it the first time and I just really did not understand. If someone can explain to me why it says mandatory pit stops zero and then it will say usable tires to hard, medium, and soft. It doesn't say that I what ones I have to use specifically. It seemed like you had to use the hards, but then someone said no, you don't have to specifically use the hards. Do you only have to do you have to use two different compounds, all three? I wasn't sure. So because it didn't tell me I had to use the medium, uh, because it didn't it, to, it didn't say it didn't say and maybe I don't know. I remember in GT Sport that and that old FIA races that shit was. That shit was very clear. It would say mandatory tires. Because it would say usable tires, medium, soft, and hard. And then it would say mandatory tires, soft and medium. So you knew, like, you could, you, you know what I mean? You, it would force you to do a stint on the softer tires so they know that you would have to pit stop. You know what I mean? It just kind of... Anyway, that's kind of the way that it used to work. And this does not have the mandatory tires. It says usable tires, but it doesn't say mandatory. Maybe I'm missing something. Feel free to tell me what the hell I'm missing. But um, I qualified P4 in this. Um, it was it was rough right off right right from the jump. This this first move I didn't even mean to do, and it happened unfortunately. Hopefully my voice isn't crazy loud now, but I'm I'm just gonna I don't want to have to upload this again. So it is what it is. But these cars are stupid loud. I have the audio turned down on them, but there's I know they're still crazy loud. I know they are. It's crazy. Anyway, it was also also crazy. Ones. I just woke up, so I'm gonna repeat myself a lot and say dumb shit. I don't care. Um, anyway, here goes my little ambitious move into turn one that didn't work. So William gets caught behind him and tries to slow down. These cars are super fast twitch. I'm not mad at this. I wasn't mad. It's just, you know, it was my first try of the day. And he really, he, he, he wanted to go single foul behind Hort guy. But unfortunately, he just um, slowed down a lot. I went around the outside, and the outside turns to the inside, and he said, fuck that shit, you are not coming through. Um, and just, um, just yeah, he did what he wanted, I guess. It's, I wasn't, I just carried on, it's whatever. As long as I survived it, it's, it's fine. But, I mean, as you can see, he, I don't think he really, um, I even think he, he, he steered to the right a little bit right here, didn't he, did he not? I don't, it's, who, who cares, who cares, it, he did it, it is what it is, I'm sure he didn't want to, I'm sure he's on cool tires and all the other bullshit that we tell ourselves, but you know, it is what it is, um, the guys behind me were super respectful, which I appreciate, um, they were super respectful, they seemed to just kind of slow down and just let me keep the position, which was kind of nice, um, they just kind of all just slowed, did the right thing and just all just kind of slowed down, I'm, he rear-ended me, I jumped right back on the circuit, I don't know what you expect me to do other than jump right back on the goddamn circuit in that situation. Um, whoa. <laughs> what was, what was that? I haven't, I didn't really, even though I uploaded a video already, I really didn't look at these replays on this first race because I, I didn't really, oh my lord. What? <laughs> yeah, it's this guy. What was this? Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Who does that? M man five zero eight eight. What are you doing? Did something happen in turn one that I missed? But I have to know. I'm sorry. You know how this shit is. We always have to know what 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 happened. So nothing even happens to him, and he just is like. Fuck you, I'm coming through! <laughs> what the hell? I would imagine he quits. I expect his car to disappear. Five seconds, he should get a 80, he should get an 800 second penalty for that. Does his car disappear? Bloop, bloop. Just do that thing where it goes, bloop, just disappears. Bloop, there you go, alright. Anyway, he's wild. I go on to make a horrific mistake up here. 
um, it was bad. Um, I don't, I'm not mad at anyone that hit me. We got ourselves out of shape here, and that was the end of my race. I mean, it really wasn't, but it, got, it was, though. So I'll give it from his perspective. You know, I get it. So he pulls up alongside of me, and I'm, I know about him. I'm going to give him space, but then he backs out, and it threw me off, and I go wide. And he touches me there, and it just, it really threw me off. Um, but what you'll notice is I have rear bumper damage that I was unaware of at the time, I believe. Um, I think I may have realized it later in the race, but I have rear bumper damage I didn't know, and this thing would not turn. As you can see, that's not what these cars respond like. These cars, when you turn that wheel, the, it, it fucking turns. Especially on mediums, it should be fine. This thing would not turn. This thing that would not turn. And I didn't understand why. And my right front, my right front overheated also in that moment. Um, no matter what, I, I did not quit. I came all the way back. Um, the these tires felt really good. So I think I went like 17 laps on these tires. Like, look at these things. I went, I went on. Yeah, I went, I went 17 laps on them. Um, but then I did the thing where you cross the line. So I come all the way back to P6 after all that. I was just charging, dude. Everyone was pitting. I was like, screw that, man. I'm coming through. I'm getting all you fuckers. And I was... And then I did this. Did not realize that I was over the line. And now I see it, obviously. Okay. And I thought, you know, what's stopping me from going on 15 laps? 15 or 16 or whatever it is. 15 or 16 laps to the end on mediums. It doesn't say there was mandatory tires, right? But wrong. Um, I got a four-minute penalty by the end. I came through P5 by the end. Um, there wasn't too many moves. It was just... I just drove around people, to be honest. It's just kind of what happened. That's a back marker. P11's a back marker. I believe work guy. I, I might have charged him down earlier. That might have been the only thing that really even happened. No? He was behind me for, for, for a while. Yeah, was it right here? Yeah, I think I charged him down. His tires might have been dead. Yeah, his tires were dead. I'm sure ended him there. I was worried that work guy was the guy from the first lap. I was worried that he was the dude that... that sent me wide in turn one, so I was a little apprehensive with him, but I wasn't positive. Oh yeah, this was, oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I forgot this happened. Make that shit happen. Yeah, this was, that was something right there. I want to see that. That was something. Yeah, he was coming out of the pits. Luckily, Hort guy jumped over. He was very aware. Good for him. Good, good for him. Good job. All good job by all of us, to be honest. That was nice. Um, I really appreciate that work guy. I'll remember that next time I see you, bro. That, that was that was smart. You saw him coming and you know you knew to bounce to the outside. If you didn't do that, we were fucking screwed, bro. For real. If you didn't do that shit, we were beat. And I'm sorry I had to do that. I'm sorry I had to do that to you. But I knew your tires were dead, bro. I knew they were dead. I had to be brave. I had to be brave, bro. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That was a little, that was a little, that was a little greasy, that was a little greasy, <laughs> I got a little, I got a little grease on you, I'm sorry. Damn, I didn't know I got grease on him like that. He, he, he yielded, I'm not saying that was all me, he yielded. If he doesn't, if he doesn't cooperate, we crash, period. That, that's what I'm saying, I, I appreciate work, guy. This initial jump over during the pit phase, like, look how scary this is for this guy, Jesus. Oh my lord. That's just and then yeah, he yielded. He he went extra slow for me and I kinda felt that and that we cooperated. We worked well with each other. We didn't lose any time. Look at how much time we did not lose because of that. We didn't lose much time, but this was dicey. That was super dicey. I could tell he was breaking. I think he even braked a little bit early. I believe he even braked just a little bit early. Yeah, that was brave. Yeah, that was brave. About to know what else to do. <clears throat> do you lift here and get just out? 
That's all you can do. Is that. And just try to get out of that hole as fast as possible. That's what I did. I love it. That was noise. I'm glad I had to redo this video because the audio was fucked. It's probably still fucked, but I bet it's better and I'm louder. But this was beautiful. Oh my god. Oh. Fuck off. Thank you, Horde Guy, for yielding right there. Because that could have been bad for both of us. But you were dead. You were dead. You knew I was taking you. But it's all good. Anyway. Um, he ends up getting it back anyway. Because, you know, he, he ends up pitting because his tires were dead. He went on softs. Um, but, yeah, I ended up getting away up to fifth with that four-minute penalty, man. Because I did two meters. And I was like, well, it's common sense to use two different... Two different tires it's common sense right so i don't have bumper damage i must have just wrecked oh yeah i yeah i did this i was getting ready to my tires were dead and i already i still have bumper damage what i do oh yeah i gave him a big bump draft that was on purpose me and him are friends now Port guy we're gonna get soft tacos later yeah that was on purpose I mean, I, I, I wasn't trying to... I knew I was going to have to do the race again. So I was like, whatever. Just go ahead, buddy. Go get it. Go get that shit. If this matters to you, I'm going again no matter what. So go get it. Um, and he did. I, I got him to overtake that little thing. Me and him were working together, man. Like I said, soft tacos later. Work guy. But now I have bumper damage. And I can't catch them. But I don't know what happens. I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, he lost it. I think he ends up eating it. Oh, Mo. Off. Yeah, he eats. Yeah, we passed a couple more people, but yeah, he fucks up. It's all right. But then at that point, I just went through. I was like, you know what? P5, I might not go again at this point. Shit. Yeah, at that point, I was like, I might not go again. I don't even care. But then, yeah, four second penalty. I mean, four minute, four minute penalty. Watch, I'm just gonna bloop, 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 bloop. And I, it is common sense to use two different compounds, so maybe that's on me. I don't, I don't even know if that's what the rule was. I still don't know by the end if that's what it was. Is that I, I wasn't, um, I was dumb and had to use two different ones. I don't know, but I thought I learned from that race for the next one, and I was like. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, if I'm in the front, I'll run softs and then I'll go on hards to the end. Because that's all I have to use, right? Right? Alright, that's all you have to use is two different compounds. And uh, that's what I think. But something happens later in this race that I'm like, you know, is it? Is that all I have to do? And I was starting to struggle on those hards. After like 20 laps, I was starting to struggle. So, we'll see. You know, 16th ranked person. I'm the last ranked person in this lobby on pole position. And I'm, I'm slow through turn one. Luckily, everyone was respectful, especially Mr. Delicio. So, he, he was going to go wide. He almost cracked me right there. You, you saw that. We'll, we'll jump behind him real quick. He almost, he almost murdered me to start and it's because I was a little bit slow I parked a little bit on the apex I'm uh, going up the hill a little bit away from the apex because I went a little bit deep um full tires I just had to slow down a little bit more than normal and it, it caused him to have to evade me I hope he didn't blame me for that but you know I'm in front you have to be aware of me making possible mistakes um it was a very minor mistake and you were coming through too fast and um turn one it is what it is i'm not you know if i messed him up and he had to move i think he was going too fast anyway i think he was going to go wide and he wasn't going to make the turn doesn't matter we're on but something bad happens in lap one i believe i ran there's nothing to see honest to god i'm fucking after 32 laps in that other race by myself it was it was it was go time i did not give a fuck i was running I did not want to lose this race. Somebody dies through here bad, and I believe it's Mr. Delicio, so I feel bad. Let's, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
so he should have been up there with me in P2. He only missed pole position by a tenth or two, I believe, and instead he's here with these guys. And two into one at the death chicane does not go. So I get, I get it. This is amb, this is this is ambitious. Hey, dude, it was a look. Just because the cars are fast twitch, just because the cars are super fast twitch, doesn't mean you're not allowed to make moves. I don't, you know what I mean? Like, what's he? This is a quick. That's a quick switchback, bro. Like that. I, I know it's not really where you make a switchback at. Don't get me wrong. But like, bro, this is a fucking. This is this is a nice move. Like that's a nice move. Like, I don't, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm sure Mr. Delicioso doesn't think so. I'm sure he thinks that was the worst move you could ever fucking make. But he, I, you, brother, you can't turn in. You have to wait, Delicioso. You gotta wait. That's my, that's my final decision. This Delicioso, you, whenever that happens to you, unfortunately, dude, you, you have to just wait. You're gonna have to pull out of that. You're gonna have to back out of that. He has the inside. He has the inside. You have to back out. And it could have just been a misjudgment. Maybe he did think he backed out enough. That is that is po possibly the case. He might have thought he backed out enough. Um, there's already guys back here with multiple penalties. I wonder why. Hmm. Some shit happened back here, huh? I don't know. Might as well look it up and turn one. These other guys in the back. Oh yeah, that looks. Oh yeah, these cars are so fast twitch. Yeah, everybody's dead everywhere. What was that? What was he doing? Hold on. So Moose got a Moose clearly. He got a bad start. Nah, he just got it wrong. He just got, he got himself all all flip flippity flap. He all got, he got he got greasy flapped up. He got greasy flapped. And good now, something bad happened here too. What happened? Oh, everyone's dead. Did he get a penalty for that? He should not have. Danger close. What happened? That was Mr. Delicioso got rear ended also after he evaded me. Oh no. That's that's why he jumped back up on the circuit like that. Damn. That was rough. See how the see how one that all started with pole position. Me. That all started with me being slightly slow across the apex, a little bit deep into turn one, caused him to be at the back of this race right here. And his car is probably going to disappear at this point. Now, I will talk about traction control real quick. So, with, why did I press up? So, with traction control, all right. I am uh, my traction control was on traction control one, and with fresh tires, you're going to see it does not activate very often. It it blips red in between shifts, of course, but like there's. I, I just I still drive like I'm on zero. I'm used to driving on traction control zero, so I'm used to it. So I just putting it on one. Let's see if I if it even turns on at all going up this hill. Probably not. Uh, I don't even let it turn on. It's it's just a little bit of extra help when those tires start to wear or whenever your car gets crazy out of shape and like you're trying to save something crazy. It it will help you. I'm telling you, uh, but it's not really slowing me down as you can see here. Third gear up that hill, no red. I, I do upshift quickly to fourth um, because I don't want to spin and I don't want to. I don't want to lose any time. So that going up that hill, this is what traction control one on. It's just you still feather it like you normally would. All right, let me not waste a bunch of your time here. The shit is on. Now I don't know about. I don't know about tires, so I make it about ten lap, make it nine laps, and I think that's time. My tires look like that. His tires are like that. We're we're it's just me, me and Pablo Escobar to the end. That's it's just me and that dude. I get about five seconds on him before I pit, 
I want to say it was about four seconds. Yeah, had about four or five seconds on him. Uh, traction control probably still won't turn on. Yeah, if I upship the fourth, it doesn't even turn on. Even with those dead tires. So it's just traction control one, I think, is viable for sure at this point. It's, especially in these these fast twitch cars that have a lot of a lot of power. I, I highly recommend giving it giving it a try. I think it may now I fuck up with the fuel here. The diamond was not accurate. So sometimes you can't go by that. And my math skills were not fucking mathing, I can tell you that. Um, he stayed out. I did the undercut. Um, he stayed out with his four second um, four second deficit whenever I, I pit. Oh, he slid through there. Nice. He slid through there real nice. I don't think he meant to do that. If he did, that was a, uh, that was, that's how you get through there fast. I could not do that consistently, so I just didn't do it. Ah, that was a little slow. I thought he pulled that off. He almost did. All right. So yeah, he he's he's ready to come in at this point. This is his in lap. This is where I'm at coming through the death chicane while he's coming up the final turn. Um, then we'll see where he comes out after the first pit phase. He comes in. He goes on to hards. We did the same exact stuff. No, he went on the softs. Okay, I'm crazy. Never mind. That's why he was fast. Okay. So check this out. No, he's on hard. See, it glitches like that, man. That's what I thought. We were on the same strategy. It glitches sometimes in these replays. Yeah, because we're both on the same strats. I did not know that. So me and him were me and him are, are on our way. Now Everybody else is pretty far back. I mean, oh, third's right in his shit. Well, he just came out of the pits, and never mind. Spillner is a spinner. He he's gone. Uh, but Pablo is my only competition. He's coming. My hard stint was just a little bit better than his hard stint, in my opinion. Um, I don't know if the lap times are going to really show that. Let's find out. Let's just go up to let's say lap twenty. Okay. Because nothing happens. Let's be real. Look, I get the lead up to about about a nine or ten second lead here. Um, between let's let's see, this, that's where he is. That's where I am coming out of turn one. He's barely even getting to turn one. This was about nine seconds, ten seconds. Now at this point, I start to worry. Not about fuel. I start to worry that what if I get a four minute penalty? So I keep going, and I'm like. Is he going to pit again? Is he on mediums? Is he on? Is he doing a double soft stint? Is he about to pit right now? I'm not sure what his, you know, what he was going to do. Um, so I, I'm not going to lie. I got scared. I got about, I got about up to about 11 seconds, 10 or 11 seconds, I believe, is what I got the lead to. And it, he, he started bringing it down. Once I started to struggle on the hards a little bit. So right around here. I started to struggle on the hards a little bit and not not really struggle but just I started to notice I really had to start breaking early I really had to start sliding the car in a little bit early making some some mistakes on turning like you just saw just the car just was not feeling great and I had it about 11 seconds and he got it back down around eight about eight and a half and I was like you know what what if is he not pitting I'm just like what if he doesn't have to pit I don't I don't fucking know I just don't know and I don't want a four minute penalty. And I thought, you know what? If I get a four minute penalty and drop down to like P4, I'll be pissed. But if I pit, he goes through on hards, if that's what he's doing. And I pit and he doesn't pit. And I end up not being able to bring it back and pass him by the end of the, the race. And I finish P2, but I don't get the four minute penalty. I can live with that. Um, so I thought... You know what? Fuck it. Let's let's box. Let's put on. And I thought, oh, I can go on soft to the end. I'll, I'll be on good softs all the way to. And then I was like, what if you had to use all three compounds? Softs, yeah, I'm gonna be real fast, especially on an empty gas tank. Um, but no, I'm sure this kind of surprised him that I came in. Um, here he is, passing by on on halfway worn hards but we still have you know 11 la nine laps to go um so with nine to go 
That's where he is, and I'm, I'm, I'm right behind him. I went in with about eight, eight and a half seconds because I did not want to bleed that lead any more down and then have to chase it from, you know, if, if, he, if, if he was able to whittle that down to three or four seconds and then I boxed for a set of sauce with only four or five laps to go, I wouldn't have enough time to use the advantage of the tires back, back for me. So I didn't think that was smart. So I thought the more laps I had on the softer tires, the fresh tires, the more I'll be able to chase him down, the longer I'll have to chase him down. Um, so now it's on. I'm like, uh, if he, he's either going to pit to secure a top spot on the podium, or just a spot on the podium, I mean, or he's going to try to defend. I wasn't sure what exactly was going to happen here. I really wasn't. Um, I was worried if I catch him, is he going to defend? You know, why would you defend? You know, it's just, you have to pit. I'm on brand new tires. Why would you defend? It doesn't really make sense. Um, but I caught him pretty fast. Um, I caught him pretty fast. Um, I believe I want to say 28 or 29 I caught him. Might be right here. So I'm already on. We got we got six laps to go, and I and I'm fast. These tires for him are really starting to fail. They're hards and they're worn like that. I'm on mediums that are new, but I did not want to pressure him. Pressuring him into a into a big mistake is, or pressuring him and getting him mad to the point that he decides to just open his steering and shove me wide. There's nothing stopping him from doing that to secure this win. Um, and I wouldn't even retaliate. Most likely, I would just go, whatever, dude. It's You clearly need to win today. I don't want you to, like, go hang yourself in your, like, fucking closet or anything. Because So, that was the first time I got to see. So, sorry, I'm just fucking talking shit. Um, that was the first time I got to see he was going to defend. So, he did classic middle-of-the-road defense. Um, not too narrow, not too, not the normal racing line. Just right in the middle making me decide super narrow or normal racing this back marker decides to just show up and like fucking just stick it that's why in the live race i go okay but it's just like come on dude this is like the race for the win anyway he's allowed to do that he's ghosted i don't care whatever so i don't want to pressure him multiple times i lift off i lift off here also because i do not want to force him into a mistake you see me lifting it's just not worth it i don't want him to make a mistake um, and so I could have went he, he did the same thing he went a little more narrow this time then he went to the middle of the road so I wasn't going to do it I bounced to the outside and this little switchback little undercut I think I think this is where he knew he's not going to get away this isn't going to work this defense is only going to last so long before he makes a mistake and loses P2 so I think he concedes here either that or he doesn't think he can clear the front of me right here either way I think he just conceded that this was not going to last um, um, I think it was just a solid move all around. It is, it is what it is. Just a quick little, not, nothing too crazy. I slowed down a little bit on the apex, um, just to secure that he stayed behind me. And, um, and obviously I was narrow. I was very narrow. So, um, I was very narrow, so I wanted to make sure I made the move. These cars are a little fast twitch. I wanted to make sure he knew that I was on the inside, and I brake later than him. I, wa I just wanted to make sure he knew that sometimes you just have to make sure they know what your intentions are. He may have wanted to slide over, but was worried I'd rear-end him. I'm not sure what was in his head. He may have just said, you know what, I'm not I can't do this anymore. Um, I wouldn't want to do it either. Because defending for that long is not going to work. It's, it's five laps to go, dude. You're not going to defend that whole time. There's no way. It's just not possible. It's really not. I was not going to allow you to defend too many more laps, pretty much. That's, eventually, I was going to have to just go for it. Um, but me and him, man, yeah. We're going to get soft tacos later. Me and him were cool. Um... But yeah, it was, it was the tire advantage. Um, but it's not over yet. So he made a smart decision, but he's not done. It isn't like this dude's just going to give up. He, I knew he wasn't going to give up. So I knew I had to keep pushing. Um, and I ended up making a mistake at the bottom of this hill. And I ended up letting him back through. And I could have absolutely dumped my car and lost this entire race. Um, I go defensive here. 
I'm in the middle of the road. I wanted to. I. You never know what kind of a racer you're you're dealing with. You never know. You really don't. So um, I I went defensive. I did the same thing to him that he did to me. I went middle of the road defense. Just don't. You're not coming around me. But then I overshot it a little bit, and then I. Mm, because I overshot it. Because I overshot this, well, because I I I'll break myself a little bit, and I was on a more narrow line. I went, I I tried getting out of here too fast. Went up into third, and it just dumped. I normally go to fourth there, but with the mediums being in good shape, I I thought it'd be okay. Um, it was not okay. Um, he did hit the back of my car. I don't blame him at all. What else was he supposed to do? He did give me rear bumper damage. Um, but, you know, it's not on him. This is on me. I, I dumped my car and he hit my rear bumper as I was going. He may have saved me a little bit. I don't know. Either way, that is... Bro. Either way, this is the difference between winning the race and losing the race is saving this, this dump. Holy shit, a little bit of poop came. A little bit of poop came out, that's all. Just a little bit of poop. Um, and then I'm like, okay, dude. You you only have going on three lap, four laps left. You got four laps left after you get up this hill. Get, pa get past his back marker. He was nice this time and jumped out the way. There was a guy, whoever his name was, Iron something. I Iron some. Every single time I approached him and there was a blue flag, flag he pulled all the way over to the side of the track. Um, so now it's Pablo's turn to run away from me, and you know he is running. He's like, oh my god, I'm like, uh, he's, he got about, this was about two and a half seconds. He got about two and a half to three and a half seconds on me um, before I started to immediately bring it back down again. Um, and then he did the unthinkable and let me through with no force air here we just his traction control was screaming and he didn't notice i bet his traction control is up higher than one i bet it's on two or three i bet it's on two i bet, I bet he's on traction control too because why, why traction control is on this whole time look at it go look at it go and he just held it he had it pinned and then he lifted and it still spun him um, traction control is different now. It really, really is. I I'm just looking at the traction control. Like, look at this. It's on the whole time, and he's not even pinned. He's not. He had to lift there. He had to lift. Traction control was screaming, telling him to lift. And it was just a happy day. I thought we were going to have a battle. Because, let's be real, two or three seconds here, I was going to catch him probably on the penultimate lap, probably 31. Maybe halfway through 31, maybe I would have caught him, and I would have had to pass him again. And I don't think he would have been so generous on lap 31 of 32 whenever I'm coming through. And my tires would have been in worse shape also. But his tires were, were beat up. He struggles to get out of here, unfortunately. And he surrenders P2. Um, just, I felt terrible. I was like, no, you did the thing that I was, I, I said not to do. I didn't want to, I didn't want to risk it on ball tires and lose it. And I thought, look how big... Oh my god, what a nightmare. What a nightmare. Look how big of a lead we had. P3 is just now coming through after he spun like five, six times. Oh, Pablo Escobar. You were such a good challenge. I really appreciated it, man. It was fun. Soft tacos, me, you... That iron dude, whoever he is, Mr. Delicioso, too, just because I feel bad for him. But that was it. Nothing else happened. We had the obligatory full lift on the death chicane. But yeah, this was. I think this was the one of one of the better strats. I think. Even though I kind of didn't mean for it to be that way. Maybe I could have been on horse at the end, but maybe I would have did what he did. And dumped it. If I'd have dumped it at the end, I'd have cried. But, yeah, we come through. We come through.
Nations Cup exhibition round one goes to me. Sorry the audio is wonky. These cars are just way too loud. If I go crazy trying to fix it, then the next race I'm going to have to switch everything all the way back. It's just these cars are stupid loud and hopefully this one's a little bit better. But yeah, that was a good race. It was fun. That was my second try doing it. My lap times are pretty consistent over there. 28 is when I had, I think, the big moment maybe, or is that when I was fighting him? Doesn't matter. It was fun. Good race. Hopefully this audio is a little more clear. Pablo, come through already. That's what I'm waiting for. There we go. Pablo comes through P3, but man, that was so... I felt so bad when he dumped it. I just want to know where was where was where was Punky at when he dumped this? Where was he at? When he, he dumped it around what twenty eight? Twenty nine. Okay, so he's about to dump it right here on lap twenty nine. This is how far back Punky is. Look at this. Imagine being right here thinking, there's no way you're going to catch P2. And up here, this is happening. That's wild. Good for him for keep going, man. Good for him for just continuing to go. He may have had a horrible start to this race. He might have been in all those wrecks at the beginning. He sees that yellow flag. I bet he got excited. Poor Pablo. Oh well. Good race.